I'm John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and this is our review of the new Precision Rifle Carry Case from Triad Tactical. Now, there are a lot of drag bags floating around out there, a lot of rifle cases floating around out there, but there are a few things that makes the Precision Rifle Carry Case a little bit different. First of all, most of us don't really need a drag bag. We're not actually going on stocks. We're not dragging all our gear through the field. So some of the features that are on drag bags are really overkill for what we do. Uh, most of what I do in my professional capacity is unload a rifle from the trunk of the car and then deploy it to a final firing point. Uh, I'm not actually dragging the rifle along with me, so things like the nose cone that you find on most drag bags, the extra snap strap, the slot on the back in order to stow your backpack straps when you're dragging, all that stuff is just added weight and it's added expense that I really don't need. Uh, the Triad Tactical Precision Rifle Carry Case, it has just what you need in order to carry your rifle safely in the trunk of your car out to the range and to store it you know in the back of your closet should you decide to do so uh, let's go over some of the features of the triad tactical precision rifle carry case first of all on the outside of the case you have two very large pockets here uh, the first smaller rear pocket has tie downs and webbing loops sewn in here so you can adjust the velcro tie downs wherever you want to put them this is a perfect size to fit your data book, a couple of boxes of ammo, you can throw some binoculars in here. And the pockets are really rather deep, so you can fit a lot of stuff in here. There are heavy duty zippers, and the zippers have dual pulls on both of them, so you can stage the zippers to whichever side you wish. The large pocket has the same type of arrangement. It opens really wide and has the tapered shape to fit along with the drag bag. Again, you have tie downs and Velcro loops in here so that you can place a spotting scope, tripod, what have you in here and lash it down and not have to worry about it floating around. There's plenty of room to lash stuff down here. Again, it's nice and large. It's a thick compartment so you can really pack way more stuff in there than you should probably carry. On the outside, we have these nice carry handles here, and the carry handles were located to try to give you the best range of balance across different rifles. It's really annoying to pick up a carry case or a drag bag and have the nose shoot down and have it hooking into things, spearing into the ground constantly when you walk. Uh, on other drag bags, I've ended up having to toss them over my shoulder because you just can't carry it by the handles. Uh, there's really no reason to have them on there. If you try to carry it by the handles, it just flops all over the place and dings into the ground. Uh, we didn't have the problem with this. Obviously it'll depend on how you load your pockets, but with just a rifle in here, uh, we didn't have any problems with it carrying nose into the ground. Towards the front here, we do still have drag straps, so if you want to drag this, you can. You got a place to tie your leash on, you got a place to, to hook your foot or to grab your hand uh, if you need to pull the drag bag along. It was designed so it actually can be utilized as a drag bag should you design desire to do so, but that's not its primary function. Now, when we open the bag up on the inside, the first thing that you'll notice is the way the zippers are designed on this bag, you can lay the bag completely flat. So if you want to do so, you can use this as a shooting mat. It's kind of small, so it's only going to keep your chest and your groin off of the wet, muddy ground or the cold concrete, but really sometimes that's all you need is just to keep your chest and your groin off of it and keep that body heat in, or just to keep the nastiness off you. Once you unload the pockets, the bag lays down almost completely flat, so it really works well for this. Uh, there is just enough padding in here to protect your rifle, just enough padding to keep you off the ground, and there's not so much padding to make it overly bulky or overly heavy. Now you'll see inside here, just like the outer pockets, we have pieces of webbing and Velcro tie downs so that we can strap the rifle down in here. And we have a pocket for the muzzle up front. This is great, that way you don't have to worry about your muzzle possibly jamming through the zipper and separating it and causing all kinds of problems. So the muzzle will stick in the pocket there and no problem whatsoever. We have a nice spot down the middle of the bag 
in the spine where you can slide a cleaning rod. So if you like to take a cleaning rod out to the range with you, you can stick a one piece rod in here and it will hold it just fine. Around the outer edge of the bag, you have another row of padding, which is a really nice feature. I've seen some cheaper drag bags and cheaper carry cases skimp out on this part. Uh, it protects the rifle from the zipper, and it also, of course, protects from impacts on the outer edge of the bag, which is actually where you're more, most likely to have impacts on the rifle. And of course, there is padding down the spine of the bag as well. So it's really well designed, well laid out. All the interior seams are seam taped, so you're not going to have to worry about seams fraying and coming apart. Very high quality bag, and it is made in the U.S. Now when we flip it over onto the back, we have four attachment points on the back of the bag for the optional padded carrying straps. What's really nice is if you don't ever intend to use this bag as a backpack, if you don't ever intend to throw it on your back and tromp through the woods with it, you don't have to buy the backpack straps. They come separate, so you can save a little bit of cash and not pick them up. Uh, if you do think you'll ever use this as a backpack or if you'll ever throw it on your back and carry it away to get to wherever you're shooting from, I highly suggest picking up the straps. They have the same extremely high quality that the rest of the bag has. Uh, you have American-made hardware. You've got ITW metal hooks on the end of it. These are Waterbury hooks and they're designed so that you can hook them right into the webbing attachment points very easily. It also gives you the option to decide whichever end of the bag you want carried up or down when you're on your back. They come off quickly and you can roll them up and either stash them in your cargo pocket or throw them in one of the outer pockets on the bag. The padding is fairly thick and substantial in there. So if you're carrying a really heavy tactical rifle, it's not gonna dig into your shoulders and cut in on you. Overall, this is an excellent, excellent high quality bag. It's been bouncing around in the back of the patrol car for about a month now. I really haven't seen any wear on it at all. We've drug it out to the range. I've thrown it in the back of the pickup truck when we're driving to and from the range. And it works very well. Uh, they run about $195, a little bit more than $195, $195 and change. Uh, this is the 42-inch version. A 52-inch version will be coming out soon, and uh, we'll let you guys know when the 52-inch version comes out. Uh, also, you can check triadtactical.com and keep an eye on their website. They'll update it when that version is available. They come in a variety of colors. This is obviously the multi-cam version. Uh, Triad Tactical has all the colors available on their website, so make sure you go check that out. Uh, they update colors from time to time. Some come in stock, some go out of stock. So check the website for the different color options and we'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, there's really not much more to say about this bag. It works very well. The outer pockets, I will mention this, are not padded. So when you put stuff in here, keep that in mind. I'm not so much worried about any gear that I would put in these outer pockets being damaged, but if you actually do use this as a shooting mat or a drag bag, you want to be careful about things you put in here. I've, on other bags before, I've put hard-edged items in outside pockets, and if you drag them across something with that side down, uh, something like a concrete porch, which was what I did, you'll actually burn holes through the nylon, and that's even with 1000D uh, Cordura. It's just not designed to do that. So. Keep in mind what you put in those outside pockets. Don't drag the loaded bag upside down across anything. If you're gonna drag it, try to make sure you're dragging it with the slick side down, which is the better way to do it anyway. If you got any questions or comments about the Triad Tactical Precision Rifle Carry Case, please leave them in the comments section below or send them to us on Facebook or Twitter. If you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our review videos or any of our other skills videos and, of course, Mail Call Mondays. And until next time, get out and shoot!